Look at this stunning image of uh, Vibrant Stellar Nursery. This is Messier 78. It's enveloped in hydrogen gas uh, that's been illuminated by very hot and massive stars that recently formed in the core of this cluster. But we also see dark filaments of interstellar da uh, dust. Uh, this region is um, uh, located at about 1,300 light years away, which is pretty close in astronomical sense. Uh, it's actually in the solar neighborhood. And how is this view unique? This image is unprecedented because this is the first such image of such width, depth and sharpness. And such large field of view actually enables us for the first time uh, to study uh, objects of, of very low mass to such details and in uniform manner. And this is pretty unique because this is the first time we can do this in, and it hasn't been uh, ever possible before. In images like this from Euclid, we can study the number of uh, newly formed stars, but also the number of objects that are less massive than stars. They're called brown dwarfs. And we're interested to see how they form and how they evolve through time. Uh, but also, uh, some of them are born as twins, which is especially interesting because they can tell us much more, they can give us much more information about their evolution and their uh, properties. And what's the most exciting parts are objects uh, that are, some of them are even a few Jupiter masses. They're called free floating planets or rogue planets. And this is the most interesting part of this image.